these are what we're saying now should be going out in the mail. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Some of it is one of the yeah. Oh, that's good. That catches your attention. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes it sick. All right. <laughs> it's, it's fun back because I couldn't get it to go. Happier to not be too good. We do find it. Well, I was trying to print these things smaller, yeah. and I, I uh, just to hand out your plate, you know. so you know it didn't happen. Those are two things that I well, one is your mm -hmm. uh, what you sent me, yeah. which I handed out to everybody, yeah. and another one is. Yeah. What should I be on recreation? You know, I never put as much bodily to that as I should. I mean, there's potentially. Um, I would start reporting on Summerfest next month. Okay. Carly's got all that yep. info. Yep. That's probably the balance of it. Okay. All right. It's green pollution too. The birds want some. Oh, yeah, for sure. This is about the month. This is the quarter. You know, the day of the second day. Yeah. Okay, July, August. Yeah. 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 Oh, you're Tracy to me. I am. <laughs> Here you go. I saw the baby back up. Is anybody else going to get more to work? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, thank you. Oh, I'm going to come in tomorrow. Okay. I'm just going to go first. I've been scurrying around all day long, and I'm like, I didn't like it for the last week. <laughs> You're going to come in tomorrow. I was going to tell you what. Please. It does very well. It does. Oh, my God. Especially when you're not used to it day to day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. We have no public, so we'll call the public hearing to order, and then we will adjourn. All right. <laughs> We got a better remedy to just put the bag in the bag. I'll say there. And there. Turn it off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's in the bush. Yeah, but at this point, Clara. Yep. So what was the hearing for? Oh, budget. Oh, budget. Oh, hearing budget. We budget. rarely get any questions or anything. I think that's a question for me when it comes down before we do it. It was supposed to be a flat budget. 
like that. With that 603,000, it was supposed to be reduced to 600,000, like it has right along. So that was the flat. The tax rate is the same. I thought that's what we agreed to. I thought we agreed to 600,000, the same rate as we always have. I know that, yeah, when I was, I went out of here or whatever when you guys ended up doing that or, anything or something. And I know it was, I thought it was a tax rate too. We didn't want to raise the rate any. Yeah, but, that's what I thought it was too. But we it's didn't want to extra rate. do the rate. Well, then that 3000 extra dollar you got, I think should go to the uh, visitor center because I think that they were told they were over budget last year. And I reviewed everything that we did before I did anything. That budget was, and I did it here. It's, it's all what the money was all allocated in, in our meeting, so wherever, wherever it is, I don't know where it is. But, um, well, the, I got a call this week, and I said, I'm not even sure I'm in charge here, but I will ask what happened. And I just haven't had time to come in, I was going to come in, but I, I couldn't squeak out a minute this week. Anyway, we can certainly look at it. If we have to make an adjustment, we can do that. You know, if it needs to be used, like we're talking about, mm -hmm. if it needs to be, you know, adjusted to go there or here, or wherever. Yeah, you could, yeah. in my mind, that's an extra 300,000. And three thousand. Oh, three thousand. I wish you were. Well, I learned today that the value of the new homes and the improvements in 2023 in the village was over eight billion dollars. Now the equalization rate from what the assessor said is down to like sixty-six percent. So when the reveal happens, people are going to go crazy. Mm. If you look at people's assessments and what houses they're selling for, it's a huge yeah. disparity. Yeah. 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 So there always is, but it's even bigger. Well, yeah, the problem is it's, there's a housing crisis right now. One in seven homes, or one in seven units in the United States is owned by a corporation. And there's a yeah. the great Jack and Mary's down in Florida. My, my sister, she worked for a law firm. One of the girls in the law firm sold her house, you know, cashed in, bought a con. And the HOA fee of $50 in two years. Her HOA fee is now $975 a month. And she's losing her place because she can't afford the taxes. And sure. the HOA. That's awesome. That is awesome. HOA is the worst thing ever in bed. I don't know yeah. anybody would move into one. She yeah. was like, oh, but it's only 50 bucks. It's only, you know, it goes up a little over time, you know, it's actually important. Nines, it's more than the mortgage. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Sure. $200,000 condo. Sure. Mm -hmm. HOA more. I'm like, wow. All they're doing is enforcement of the ops. They need to resell mm -hmm. In New York State's solution to that is to try to make a, a short term rental registry start statewide and make sure they start collecting tail tax, which I thought they already did. But. Well, that, that's that's one thing. With the Because inflation's so high and the, the rates have gone up, nobody's moving. Mm -hmm. And their their new build is so outrageous for us. Their the new new construction is down so far down from the life. You can't afford it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it to to rebuild my house right now would be three hundred thousand. Yeah. Yeah. You know, three bedroom range. It's <laughs> working hard to work. Because I've been thinking about building the street. Something smaller. And we've got the land there and yeah. everything's all set. Wow. And but when I get all through, I got half a house yeah. and the same amount of money probably in the building. Sure, not with our own. Well, I guess financial advisor the other day, he went and rolled all the numbers of our, our my Social Security share of Social Security when we retire. You know where we're going to be and that kind of thing. The share was scared to death because you know just because yeah. we're way out in the world. She came home. She came home with a smile on her face and floating on air. I said, what the hell's up with you? You're not going to believe where we're at. She said, we're going to be great. You know, so, well, what it looks, looks like now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I told them time to retire now. But, but careful. Yeah. 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 But 
Okay. Yeah. So does somebody have to read it? Does somebody have to read the motion in order to, or do we have to do anything? We don't do anything. We don't here. do anything. We open and close the public hearing. So now we we will vote on a budget later on in the meeting. Okay, so we don't have to vote to close the hearing or any of that. Uh, um, what's the name of the What's his first name? Does he come here? Huh? Yeah, I think it's uh, yeah. Um, yeah. I couldn't come up with that. Did he come? Yes. Uh, so this is going to go to everybody that has me. Thank you for that. Six hundred of them. In the middle. Yes. Yes. And that would be the only Yeah. And I did a lot of Yeah. So I'm not seeing any Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm pretty good. Legal and out loud. Yeah, yeah. Get better. You come running. Kathy, did you ever see my note about the village, about the, um, Historical old booths and how I took care of that before because I was part of park with next door to Dallas. I'm I'm not married to her, I can change, but I I worked with them. They called me. I said, you know, I it, that's usually what is it? You know, I mean, recreation, something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it falls under tourism. 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 That's it. So, um. I had sent you all this stuff. It's been so long. You may have gone to your other email. Yeah, let me. I'm just not off hand. Well, it's before the last meeting. Yeah, like maybe sometime that week. And I just want to be able to tell them where that's going, whether who's doing. I'm from your enemy account. They're meteor management. They're both the same. What one did you join that? Yeah, it was before the sit time. I just thank you that so you could see what they were. Not at all what I thought you would do. <laughs> no, I mean something different. Thank you. Know, so artists, oh. No, I'm back to okay. December. And you see now how. Okay. Um, let me see. Well, let me look to see. If, it, well, let me look to see if it's in this one here. It also has the zoning board training, and I have not done yeah, that. Yeah, take a look at it. Um, I'll, be I'll be there tomorrow. I'll start down the way. Training is when I did the right. zoning or the planning board. Yeah, I was. Well, then I just did the zoning. He's still not going to be coming until it's like fall. Oh, right. so, no problem with that either, okay. but. Oh, don't feel that like Oh, visitor center and zone. Yep, yep. that'd be it. Right, let me take a look at it. Just you need to get back. I mean, this is Oh, it's a Oh, I think it's good. That's not it. Reading the minutes. Thank you. I was in the I don't understand this grant service. No, it's a good budget. Yeah. It shows how things have changed over the last few years. I actually looked at it. Anybody else need it? Put them down.
been a good, very busy before vacation. Yeah, it's been like a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> I like warning lawsuits yesterday for a different municipality that I didn't know about. I just started representing them like a month and a half ago or so, and then uh, apparently they were already pending, and they just told me to now. So. Everybody, please stand for the pledge. The pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation. Under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome, everybody. Our first order of business is to approve the minutes from the March 21st board meeting. Anybody read them and any changes? I'd like, I sent Tracy and Hill. To tell her how much I appreciate it for the way she captured the motion that I made and that the intent was reported. I thought it was a really nice job on the Mrs. Number. Uh, with that being said, I move that we approve the minutes. All seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. All right, in terms of my report, um, our water levels up a lot, more than six and eight inches. In the last couple of weeks, thanks to all the rain, so the lack of snow was being made up. I think I heard the other day this is the wettest April on record, and we're only halfway through it. So we're not going to hit low water or higher water here this year. The kickoff meeting for our water system analysis was held last week. Um, several people from Barton and Judas were here. They met with Sharon and I. Nate has turned over tons of information to them. Um, and Melanie and Tracy have also turned over a bunch of information to them that they began working on yesterday. Um, the community peer committee met last month, the meeting again next week. Um, we've never really narrowed down the sites to none that were mentioned in the beginning. Um, the old Sills Marina, where um, Burroughs Brothers is working out of, is a really good site. And uh, Sharon and her husband are interested in pursuing that further. Um, and they have some of their own ideas on how that might work. They met with the uh, consultant and I just before the last meeting or just after the last meeting. And Krenzer Marine is also interested and uh, there appears to be some things we can do there. So the consultants are further developing those two concepts. That's what the committee will look at next, um, next week. And then we will meet with the owners of those properties to review the plans and get their input. That's really great. That could be a terrific opportunity. I think so. Yeah. And I'm really, um, the the enthusiasm on both parties has been fabulous. So the other thing too with Sills, it's the old Sills property or Steve's property is Steve Water. Yes. You know, um, Steve the Water, they have tons of historic things. Mm -hmm. They are many of which are stored, which yeah. could be part of it. Yeah. So 
the, the best part about that would be then we would have a great place to offer the Lotus and get a playground developed and park. It's an excellent place to bring families. Yeah. Um, South Municipal Parking Lot Project, um, another Barton and Lajudas project. They were here last Wednesday as well. And they walked through the parking lot with Brad and I, and then we, um, Brad had sketched up some ideas. We pulled out the playground material from the work that that group did, and uh, they ordered a survey. We gave them the plans for the stormwater project so they know where the drain is to connect to. So that's off and running. It'll, it'll probably be, I say in here, it'll be the May meeting. It'll probably really be the June meeting based on what they've said um, mm -hmm. this week. Eminent domain, the judge signed the order <clears throat> on the 11th that grants the right of way to the village. The next step is to file a map, which our attorney is working on. Um, I don't have any confirmation that it's done. And once the map is filed, then we got to work on getting the fence opened up. The Article 78 lawsuit is not resolved yet. All the materials were due to the court on April 9th. And I'm told that somewhere between one and six or seven weeks, we'll hear whatever that means. The other thing that's going on that's not on here is the Army Corps of Engineers um, has finalized the design of the environmental review for the East Pier, and they will um, put out a bid spec within the next three weeks. They hope to award the bid in June, and they're hoping to find somebody that will start the project in July. We'll see. We'll see if that happens that way. That project will be staged at the county park. So we have a ton of rocks coming into the village right now, going to the Crescent Beach project, which is out of Sills Marina. Um, and whenever the East Pier project starts, those rocks will come into the village and go to the county park and then we barge over from there. In terms of wastewater, um, they lubricated all the locks that lock all the lift stations and pump stations. They used the sewer cleaner on Wickham Boulevard, the short streets, and Greg Street. They submitted their annual certification to the DEC on flow, and they replaced the pipe fitting on the sewer cleaner. Their moniker is Think Before You Flush. Kevin's got a lead on a um, replacement for Jack, a person that has a license. Um, in wastewater, so I'll assume that and hope to talk to that person in the next week or two. Uh, uh, when did Jeff leave? Um, he leave, he won't, the end of June, June 28th or something like that, we end up paying him longer because of the contract, but right. that's when he stops working. Mm -hmm. Bill? Uh, as far as the fire department goes, um, they had uh, three responses, and uh, one in March that he's got, or, or again, March that he's got on here, which was EMS assist, a hazardous condition, and uh, an outside fire, which was just the other day. Um, he says the eclipse went very well, <laughs> as far as calls go, I guess. Uh, pot of gold tickets he still has, or the fire department still has some pot of gold tickets. Uh, WR4 is in service. Upcoming events, June 1st is the Pot of Gold Dinner. Um, and if you do want Pot of Gold tickets to be eligible for what they call the early bird, got to be great or bought by the 26th of April, I think it was. It has to be bought and turned back into Tim. And, um, and Tim says he doesn't have a lot of tickets left, but there's got to be individual firefighters that have got them that they must have left. Uh, and then June 15th is the old time baseball game. Um, where they come in from out west of Rochester and play with a leather ball and do all that stuff in the ball field. As far as the parking in that goes, um, still working on that. Uh, we're talking with Gary and them. They're due back here very shortly because they're getting ready to start the mic rides and so on and so forth. So we'll keep moving on and get everything going. Up to that point, I'm all set. Thank you. Thank you. 
Um, reporting on the ambulance responses were up, up for March. There were 16 responses, nine of them were billable, um, and they had nine um, assists by ALS Advanced Life Support. Um, the ambulance has received their recertification for a lab license that they need to do blood sugars on site and that they've applied for their certificate of need research, which is something they do every two years, three, three, three years, years no, every yeah. three years. Um, everybody will be getting, or all the Sotus Point residents and box holders will be getting um, a flyer like this, uh, looking for volunteers, um, drivers and medics, um, basically looking for volunteers. So consider if you've got extra time or, or interest, it, it would be a good, certainly useful thing. Um, the Eclipse was not as busy as it might have been otherwise. There weren't any responses um, during the Eclipse, but um, the ambulance did have three uh, teams, um, one on the side-by-side, -side, one on the boat, WR4, and then one, of course, in the ambulance. So they had six people um, there. Regarding uh, tourism recreation, this Saturday is a beach cleanup um, from 10 until noon at the, uh, starting at the beach and we'll be doing other places depending on, in the village, depending on other, uh, you know, how many people show up. It's something that we do annually. Um, it's in conjunction with Earth Day. Um, looking ahead to other events, um, on Memorial Day weekend, there's going to be a family uh, kite flying event. I believe that's on a Sunday. The Neighborhood Association is doing that. Um, and then the sail around the point, which is the Neighborhood Association and some other people. Oh, I will say that the speech camp is Rotary and the Neighborhood Association. I have to do a show. Okay. <laughs> but uh, highway, um, because of the eclipse, you know, we anticipate all that. All the trash cans are out of the parks, uh, parking dollars. They've uh, swept most of the roads and cleaned up a few of the plow damage spots. So a couple of men uh, process right now and they're breaking down the plow trucks and stored for the summer months. Um, they've got a lot to do to get ready for summer. I'm not sure what that uh, entails at this point. Um, obviously David spoke with Miller Park and me and out uh, concerning the Miller Park parking lot. And uh, some designs coming early this summer. Uh, next scheduled brush collection is April 22nd. That's on Mondays for the people that can't remember that. Um, please, they ask no stone, rocks, dirt, or lumber to keep the brush in an easily accessible flat area whenever possible. Lori? Outlet uh, BRP from Sharon Lilla. The project description for the Margarita Road sidewalk project was prepared, reviewed, and then sent to the consultant for inclusion in the project list. This is a great concept. I reached out, um, this is Sharon's words, I reached out to Bob Murphy about the status of the concept plans and cost estimates for the major projects on the list. Lou engineers is, b &L engineers is preparing those as part of the MWBE requirement. I do not have them yet, although I have been asking for them for several months now. Our grant representative at the New York State Department of State advised me that the beach management plan needs to be included in the project list, so I obtained a copy from the village and sent it along to the consultant. Parks, um, a presentation was made to the Economic Development Committee and Lions. That went very well. Um, as a result of that, we've had a lot of connections. Uh, the playground equipment has begun to arrive and actually is all here from the uh, other company. Game time is not going to have a swing tier before the 1st of June. Actually, it's March, May 31st. We are planning a cleanup of the park for either the first or second of May, weekend of May. Um, and we do have, we are looking at quotes right now for um, playground to the slides and that sort of thing, need a professional to install them because of the clamps and things from the other things. Um, the playground committee is planning to take care of that with by hiring a uh, uh, 
what do you call it, the specialist. <laughs> However, the swings mm -hmm. I'm going to have Dan thread if you have the because we want to get everything else done yep. when we do cleanup. Um, and Brad's been great. They got the tree cleaned up that went down. I'm not sure what day it was. I just know that I had. Well, I went down there one day and it wasn't there. And the next day I went down there and it was there. He did that in a uh, pretty quick time once he got, once we got back to work. Um, the uh, Eclipse, Eclipse presentation was good. We had a lot of people with questions. And visiting our booths, we got quite a few donations on it, which is what we'll be using some of the money for the consultant or the person that's going to hang all the equipment. Um, the planning board meeting 141 has come to a head last night. Um, their meeting was, I thought, really informative. I thought they did a great job sharing information, taking information um, a couple of times. It started to go awry, and Bruce did a good job of bringing it back. Mark helped him, so it was good teamwork. And um, I think we'll be having some some things may change as a result of that. The biggest thing that I heard there, I believe, was, and I know you were there, so I was listening, and then I rewatched it because my sister had come to town. <laughs> um, but with was probably the fact that the zoning is part of the issue and that we may need to make sure that we're not trying to develop a code when we maybe should be looking at how it's zoned first. Did I wow. capture that right? Yeah. 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 Um so anyways, and, and, and that's not in everything, Maxine. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it sounds funny, but it no, it, it doesn't even make sense. Sorry. Well, it does if you go through the codes and you look at what they outline and then where things fall for Maria. Okay. Well, that, they, so, they, they, have, they have the input. They'll get more input at the public hearing. I thought they did a great job. I, I, I have no problems. Um, I had summarized my feelings to them ahead of time as Bruce had requested, and it was all good. And the climate smart communities, nobody had heard anything. I went to the Soda Village meeting on Monday, um, and uh, we'll be meeting again. I think I volunteered for something by camera in the book. I'd have to look at it. They'll tell you. Thank you. Thanks, Lori. Kevin's report, um, he issued 13 permits, generated $1,865 in fees. He also gave everybody a copy of the 1203 report, which he has to submit annually. It's pretty extensive, as once you read through it, you'll realize. Um, he also turned in all his training credits and complete, completed the census report that he's required to do. And he also uh, was working with the assessor today to provide updates on all the permits that he mm -hmm. issued in 2023 to have his records. Um, get straight. All right, public comments. Anybody in the room? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, you brought up 85 to 10 with Boulevard. Um, I have a couple of questions. I know I'm in the domain is done, but I do have some questions. Um, Hopefully, Mr. St. Martin can help out too, since I don't see Kevin here. Um, first, I want to know when land is subdivided, does it need approval from planning and zoning? That's a yes or no question. Typically, yes. When zoning of the land is going to be changed, does it have to go? in front of planning or something. Yeah. If there's a waterfront, does it need to have a secret filled out or a waterfront assessment form filled out? Well, it depends on what the type of action involving the, what, how you receive your um, guy's complaint or questionnaire. Um, my understanding is for the Ketchum property that the village obtained an easement from the Ketchums personally over it. 
that would not be subject to seeker. It also was not subdivided in any way. So it's not subject to the subdivision. And it also was not rezoned. The parcel maintained its original zoning. So, I, didn't, I didn't want to put that in a response to you myself because it relates tangentially to the pending lawsuit. So I can't communicate with you. So my understanding was the village was going to respond, but it hasn't taken place. But it was <clears throat> rezoned from residential to public. <clears throat> okay. So therefore, it should have been in front of planning. Yeah, I'm not sure if it was rezoned, but the the town boards, uh, so, uh, the zoning and planning boards are subservient to the town board. So in my opinion, even if the town board was the one acquiring the land and rezoning it, I they it would not be subject to their planning and zoning boards. Would be my initial opinion. I need to research it more. I'm not sure that it's public. I'm pretty sure it's still known. No, you're no, public. it's public. It has to be public. Well, my it's got to be public. My you got you got a right way on it. It's public. Well, my assumption is that the parcel itself remains whatever it was residentially zoned, and the village has just obtained an easement over it that the public can use. It doesn't change the zoning classification of the of the underlying parcel necessarily. So they purchased it for a dollar. I'm not sure what they. Yes, purchased. they purchased it for a dollar. I'll answer that for you. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, and shouldn't this have been in the paper, um, as part as the procedure, or shouldn't um, the neighbors have been notified, like myself, that this was going on? That's proper procedure. Well, the village is vested in village law section five dash. Uh, 311, I believe, is vested with the authority to purchase or acquire land, and it's not subject to, uh, as long as it's approved by the board, they can do so. So the village can purchase any land they want to then, right, as long as... Well, they're bound by their fiduciary okay. obligations in the land that they purchase, but if they believe yeah. that that would have a public benefit, then yes, they can acquire it. So basically, that's been like eminent domain also. Well, the Ketchums consented to it. So it was an eminent domain. The Ketchums gave them the easement. Okay, so my husband wrote this to this board or to Kevin and you, Mr. St. Martin, mm -hmm. on March 23rd. And the only reason why I'm up here asking these questions because what is the procedure when a person has a complaint or has questions. Do we have to come and bother you and other people's times on a board meeting like this? First complaint was responded to, and he doesn't like the answer, so he asked it again. No, this has to do with the Ketchum's property. That hasn't doesn't have anything to do with the docks. That had to do with the docks that are illegal and the docks that are on the county or U.S. government, but I'm going to deal with that in a different way, since this board won't do anything about it. a marina that he's been charging people for. Everything's so illegal, but yet the Berettas are the ones who have to follow the process to the T. And yes, my house is for sale because I'm done. And I'm sure there's a lot of people in the audience who probably go, hoo hoo. But come on, let's, if you're going to treat someone differently, then treat everybody differently. If you're going to bend the law, then bend the law for everyone. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way. I appreciate your comment. Yeah, it is the way I feel. And it's the way I feel. And that's what you do, Dave. You go, thank you for your comment. I go sit down and nothing is done. Well, again, the response was done illegal. And let me tell you right now, that was done illegal. Yeah. Lori, instead of doing it on Facebook, we're going to do it this way. You have no impact to Soda's Point taxpayers in your little flyer. 
This is $5,000 from the village of Sodus Point going to Willow Park Design and Implementation pro Project. Is this going to get paid back through grant money? And how is this getting paid? This is the American Rescue money that we were given and the board approved. Where, where does American Rescue money come from? That does it come from taxpaying people? That was before we ever formed a 501c3. But, we, no, but you've already taken is, taxpayer money, right? No. You told me you took ARPA money. That's what the American Rescue Fund does. But ARPA money could be used differently in the village for different things, correct? And the board decided to use it to just yes. a place. So, so the board has decided to use in an open meeting. taxpayers' money. You're, in, you're using and utilizing taxpayers' money. This park is going to cost people a lot of money, and I just don't think that it's, it is it's not. a great idea. It absolutely that, is. If the park becomes right now, mm -hmm. okay, yes, you have American Rescue Money that has bought the equipment to replace what we were liable for if somebody got hurt on. Okay. We're doing right now. The park is better off than it was six <laughs> months ago because it's got new equipment coming. If we get not one nickel, this committee has done a whole lot. But we this have five thousand dollars, though, the Willow Park Design and Implementation <laughs> Service. But that was for the study that we for had the for park. for the new park, for the parking lot, mm -hmm. for an overlook. Mm -hmm. Whether we needed irrigation, you've got to have some place to jump off in order to apply for anything to assist you. Okay. We but, but for the new park as well. Yeah. Yeah. So you've it's, already used taxpayers' money. No. Yeah, no. That that's <laughs> the definition of taxpayers' well, what money. What you're not hearing is we'll you say you're going to use well, some private funding. Willow Park 501c3 yep. was not incorporated when any of that money was used. So are you going to pay that money back no. to the town? No, we're not. You're just going to take the taxpayer's money. No, I never touched that money. That all went through the budget. That's part of taxpayer's money. No. This is it is part of taxpayers' money, but yes. it's approved by the board. It was part of our budget. It, it, it was agreed to, to spend the money there. Or we also said that when the bathrooms are done, that was 100%. I think it was. There's a motion in here that you wanted to be paid back $645 mm -hmm. via PayPal for the cleaning done at Willow Park, and, and which was denied. I came in. To you said you donated that. I but you put an application in to get paid back. That's not a donation. That's you taking the credit well, for the donation. You know what? You didn't pay for it. I did. Oh, I know. You okay. Did, but and you tried to get the town paid for it. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay, because I came today, didn't I, Dave? Mm -hmm. And I asked him if we could do it. Mm -hmm. And if we could hire Nikki to do it. I had never met Nikki before I did that part or did the bathrooms with that group. I absolutely had Were you going to donate it, though? Was your intention originally to donate? No, but when I got stuck with a bill, I wasn't okay. going to let. Okay. I was not going to let Nikki, mm -hmm. who depended on that as a single woman, go without the money, and I had the means to donate it. So, yes, I did not pursue it when Tracy told me mm -hmm. in front of the board that it was not legal to do it that way, but she never really gave a reason. I'll put it in now, so and then I'll donate it. Yeah. I did yeah, donate yeah. it. Okay. Did anybody pay anything? So, no, what? you don't you know me. There was $800 gone to those village bathrooms, so you, it wasn't a hundred. Where was the $800? Please tell me. I will get that all for you. So, we have yeah. $800. It's $800. Well, $800, there was... I, well, I think it's great. I, and you were also against ADA compliance on those bathrooms. You know what? It was not... I heard that one. That was not true. Was I? No, I think you were encouraging ADA compliance. Thank you. You didn't get okay. But you didn't want ADA compliance. I don't understand what your motive is here. It's your integrity, Lori. My integrity is pretty you good. Don't have good integrity. No, well, I that's, called you on it. I'm your standards. I guess but, that's the okay. understanding. Yeah. Um, second thing is, you know, Kathy Beretta. I, I, and I, I agree that we should have it open. I, I disagree with you closing it. But under the understanding that you were told by the past lawyer where you could put your fence, correct? Right. 
have we, made, have we made our insurance company aware that the past lawyer gave bad information and let the insurance company go after that lawyer for the money to give us to, because we all, that's taxpayers' money again, they're very aware. They're very aware? They have all aware. Are, are you aware, sir, Matthew? Are you aware? Oh, I mean, the, the, entire, entire conflict of interest. the entire public file has been turned over in, in the lawsuit. And is so that in the lawsuit sure. about him telling, speaking to her? His comments yes. are part of the record as to what comments he made. And and so why doesn't our insurance company pay for this then? Because it was done incorrectly. Somebody talked out of school. And they they are paying for the lawsuit. But, and then they should go after the past attorney. And that's up to them to do that. I would push for that. We should help us. Yeah, and Lori, I'll, I'll look into the thing for you. $50,000 in a domain. You're worried about eight hundred when they're worth $50,000. Well, that's what I'm saying. saying. I mean, there's a lot around right. now. Lord. Anybody else in the room? We have to talk about people's money. But anyway. Right. I was willing to work with the mayor if he didn't want to. That is not true. Um, Maxine Appleby, 7487 South Ontario Street. <clears throat> I also attended the uh, workshop that the planning board did. <clears throat> I heard the, the rule locks were the, really the main thing, but that's not why that's not why I wanted to comment. I wanted to comment <clears throat> publicly because if there's anybody listening and you agree with the changes in the maintenance plan, please let the board know. There are a few things I don't agree with, but I support it and I put my comments in. But if this board doesn't hear from the public that they that they want um, these changes to our community, they could go the wrong way. So I'm just making a public appeal, send your comments, emails, whatever, to um, Tracy Durham. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else in the room? Anybody on Zoom? Kevin, can they unmute themselves? Um, I have a comment. Okay, Jean. Um, first, I just want to say that was a stressful last couple minutes. So I'm just asking everybody to take a deep breath, please, myself included. Um, I gave up part of my public property to have the sand dune on the beach and the sand dune came with a beach management plan and it has to be managed. Um, so the spring is rolling around. Um, I did make it out there for the day of the eclipse to look things over. And then a couple of days ago, I called the county to say, do you know when you're going to clean it out? Because I have to pair my own personal work with the county. Scott Kaczynski told me that um, he is amenable to cleaning out the dune, not any big parts of personal property, but it's only Dave at your direction. And if you'll remember last fall, there were some mix ups and some stress about planting dune grass. My stress was I wanted to make sure the dune grass was planted on the dune. And we're not exactly totally sure where the dune is sometimes because of drifting, but we got through all of that. And so part of my public comment is to ask you to please um, support the efforts for the county, not to clean out my whole front yard and, and personal areas, but to help clean out the dune, the, you know, the big drift in the dune. And in a second, I'm gonna show you a picture of that. And I wanna um, make it clear that Scott said he is not going to, you know, work with individual homeowners. It will all go through you, Dave. And that actually makes a lot of sense in terms of the two governments. But I'm asking, please, for your support. Um, he had, his, his boss was at the meeting last week. So apparently Kevin hasn't talked to Scott yet. But they were going to, he was asked at the Beach Advisory Committee meeting last week by Lori to schedule a date to do the spring cleaning. Okay. And as soon as that gets um, scheduled, Lori will get that out to everybody along the beach. Okay. Um, I, um, as most of you know, I'm disabled from this total hip replacement I had three years ago, and none of this is easy for me. 
I'm making my best effort to do what I'm what I'm allowed to do under the DEC regulations. And I completely understand. And I was I have never tried to move the dune and I never will try to move the dune. In, in case people aren't aware, I could get a $10,000 fine from the DEC and I'll also have to pay to put the dune back. But I am allowed to manage the dune and that requires the cooperation of the village. And, I, um, and it requires communication. And so you found that out last week. I found it out two days ago, but it does take time to line up a contractor and things. And then all of this is weather related. And when you don't hear, you know, for someone like myself, it's very much impacted by this. And again, none of this is easy to take care of. I, I would appreciate clear and, and early information because it gives me more time. And then for the sake of the public, there is a map, it's on the Facebook page or somewhere. Um, this was the presentation from the DEC and this is the shape of the dune. And there's an elbow in the dune in front of my house. And on the east side of the elbow, it's going to drift. And the consultant told us that it would drift and that's why there's a beach management plan that goes with the project. And in this presentation from the DEC, it says on page eight, um, examples of normal maintenance activities um, window siding, project replacements, decking board replacement, and relocation of windblown sand on the beaches that seasonally accumulates on or immediately adjacent to building structures. Um, uh, and the sand must be placed back on the beach. So you're allowed to clean out the drifted sand that's near the fence in the front yard. Um, so I'm not doing anything that, that is I'm, I'm doing everything for the DEC regulations per this presentation. Um, but there is a lot of drifted sand and some of it even got onto the beach after the eclipse. And this is a picture, I don't know if I can get it that great in front of the camera, but there is a huge drift from west to east and it wasn't even that big the day of the eclipse. And then because um, well, I, I meant to do it last fall. I just didn't get to it. I have four fences in front of my house that I put up for the sand over the winter. And the two Western fences go Northeast, Southwest. And I'm gonna point out that the fences that the Dune Committee put out went North, South, and they didn't catch as much sand as they could have over the winter. And I'm trying to show you that with a picture so that we can help preserve the beach. And then I had, um, I added another two fences further to the east to, to stop the drifting, to keep the sand out on the beach. And I stumbled upon a, a young guy who was willing to do it two days after the eclipse. So I drove back, someone has to drive me, but I drove out and put those sand fences up. And if you have a minute to go over to the beach to look at how much sand those fences caught, I know that you, you all in the county probably took the uh, beach fences down for the eclipse. But that's a lot of sand that was caught in eight days to leave back on the beach. But that shows you, if, again, looking at, at the two eastern fences, the fences closest to the lighthouse, all of that sand collected in the last eight days. And I'm showing you that, let me see if I can make it bigger, to make my point that a lot of sand drifts in front of my cottage a lot more than any other cottage. Um, and it's always been that way. So I am praying that the county will clean out the, the uh, it's called the toe of the dune, the south toe of the dune. And then, mm -hmm. then I'll, I'll get my own contractor to, to come and do the rest. Um, and I also wanted the village to know that because of people walking over the dune, two summers ago and three and four summers ago, I put out a small wire fence to keep people from walking over the dune. A year ago, when we went to a DEC presentation, they said, you're not supposed to have a fence out there like that. But in a good faith effort to direct people to walk over the walkway area, my, my walking path to the beach, I'm gonna get a couple of little red arrows and put them on a stake in the ground and point the people not to walk over the dune. But what I'm asking right now is for your support and with the county 
if they're willing at all to help manage the big dune itself and I'll take care of the rest. I just need dates and information to work with a contractor. Please. As soon as it's available, it will be shared. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else on Zoom? Let me make one more comment. One, yeah. We have a beach student committee and they meet once a month and anybody is welcome to come in to talk. Um, Gene, I can assure you that everything you talked about was discussed at those meetings. And rather, it's my opinion that rather than going to the mayor, that you should come to the people that are on the committee. Maybe ask to speak if you're not on the committee, but I will show you everything you just everything you just said was discussed at the last committee meeting. Right, Dave? You yep. were there. Yep. Yep. Okay. Any well, other you know, in, in my own defense, I wasn't told when those meetings are. There isn't a notice on the village the village meeting. So how would I know that that's happening? And up until through last year, until Lori removed me from, Lori Hayden removed me from the committee, I received an email from her. The meetings weren't open to the public and there weren't public comments. So I wouldn't know that Maxine. Um, so um, I, I wouldn't know that. And I also was told by the uh, county to talk directly to Dave. So I'm just trying to, and I wanna show the village board members I want the community and I want the village board, all the members to know I'm putting my best faith effort and doing the right things, but the dune has to be managed. And that was my, that's just my request. Can I ask a question? Oh, yeah. Why are these meetings open and why aren't they posted for everybody to know? This is a public, public thing. Yeah. They're posted on the Lakeview Property Owners Facebook page, from what I understand. Yeah. It's, it's, Why it, are we putting out if the village is... It's, it, it, the, it's not a village committee. It's a it's the homeowners along the beach. It's their committee. They're running it. Oh. It's not our committee. So their, their committee should be bound by some kind of bylaws or something, and that's where she should get that information. Yes. Yeah. Because I can't imagine not being able to go to your own HOA meeting, basically. Yeah, that's really, that's it's, a, it's a subcommittee of their HOA, essentially. And if there's an HOA, there's got to be some corporate bylaws that protect yeah. people so they can do that. Yeah. So, okay. All Thank right. You. We will close public comment. Old business, just real quick. Excuse <coughs> me, so what? Um, we need to surplus the 2004 CFAC fireboat and trailer. The intent, if we agree, is to put it up for sale via Auctions International, which we've used for some other equipment and vehicles in the last couple of years, pretty successfully. Are we going to offer it for sale locally as well? No, we would offer it for sale through Auctions International. It's got to go through Auctions International. I make a motion that we do surplus the or the vote. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. On to new business. I'll introduce Tom, our auditor. Can you run through the audit report from last year, please? Okay. Well, it's the agreed upon procedures report, not the audit report. Yep. So um, we have to remind us all the time. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so something different than an audit. Um but yeah, you should all have the copies of the document and your door packets, okay? And um, as you know, this is a process that we go through annually with the, the village uh, board and um, where you've asked us to look at the specific processes and procedures as well as policies um, of the town board or of the, uh, the village board. And um, so the setup of this document is that You've asked us to perform procedures and then we identify any items that we noted during that process. And really, there wasn't anything significant. Um, there wasn't any significant findings in the process, which is, is very positive. Um, but we did look at the different processes and procedures you had 
over the, the financial cycles. Again, nothing significant there. Um, we did look at your cash receipts and your 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 deposits of the dollars coming into the, the village. And again, uh, we looked at those deposits for you know documentation, timeliness of the deposits, um, you know, the coding of the deposits, as well as making sure that there was supporting documentation for the amounts that were received. And, and again, there were only a couple of items that are really more in the time in in, in the line of um being able to document when dollars came into the village. So there were some, some items that come in through the mail, so non-traditional OAS dollars come in that you didn't stamp when they came in. So we're just suggesting to modify that process a little bit, um, nothing significant. Then there were two deposits that were made that weren't within that three to five business days. So again, just trying to get dollars into the bank as quickly as possible. So again, a couple of minor items there. Uh, we looked at, um, not only did we look at the collection process, but the procurement process with the disbursement process. And again, um, we looked at a sample of disbursements. Again, looking at those disbursements for, you know, whether you had purchase orders or um, claim vouchers, the supporting documentation that the appropriate departments were signing and approving those, those documents. And again, a um, couple of minor items there. Again, then uh, one instance where department head didn't sign the, the claim voucher. Um, and then one instance, uh, where um you know the your procurement policy it's a very detailed procurement policy and it talks about having purchase orders for every claim um where the village really more uses claim forms on the majority of the claims so what we're suggesting is that you kind of revisit your procurement policy and try to align that with what you're actually doing okay so maybe modify the policy the other piece with that policy is um you know, over the last few years, the laws have changed and um, things like, they call it piggybacking, where instead of having to do a formal bid for something that meets that threshold, you can purchase something off of another government's process. So if, if let's say the, the the town of Sotus did a bid a, a vehicle, right? And you liked the price that it, you could go and piggyback off of that particular bid. However, your procurement policy doesn't talk about that process. So what we're suggesting is that you, as you enhance that procurement policy, to try and incorporate some of the new changes that are out there with regard to piggybacking into that policy. Okay. And it would talk about what you do internally to demonstrate that you're in compliance with the, the rules for piggybacking. So just a couple of recommendations there. Um, the payroll process. So again, we looked at a sample of employees, looked at their time record, um, time reporting, the record keeping, vacation days, things like that, to make sure all the appropriate record keeping was there. Um, no significant findings there. One instance where um, the federal tax that was withheld didn't agree with the, the the tax information on file. So someone went from like a single zero to a single one. Like that. So every time you change those, you should have an actual document, an IRS document every time you change them. So just one instance that we know that that again, not a major issue, but just to try to get that documentation. And then document, making sure that when you, you do um, provide raises to employees that you document that with board minutes. Okay, there's one employee where the raise was consistent with the, the union contracts, um, but the board didn't actually approve that separately because that individual wasn't part of that contract. Okay, so again, just keep that in mind. Um, again, the last area, we looked at the bank reconciliation process. So that's where we're making sure that, you know, the, the reconciliation, so what's in the bank agrees with what's on the books. And again, uh, everything was in, in very good shape there and there were no findings there. So again, uh, giving a, a very good process there. Um, again, with the procurement process, the bidding, so again, we, we talk a little bit about public bidding when you exceed certain thresholds and quotations. So then it's making sure when you do a public bid that you maintain the documentation internally. And we, we didn't see a certificate of non-collusion in one of the bid files. And, and uh, there was one other item where uh, you just didn't maintain the documentation for the bidding. So anytime you do that public bid, you just want to make sure you're maintaining that documentation. Okay. Um, but again, overall, uh, for that process, uh, I think uh, we were able to get in and, and look at things very, very smoothly. So again, 
the police report uh, that, you know, he had nothing significant, just a few minor procedural items to look at. With, with um, the findings on the $20,000 bid or whatever it was, is there a reason that you don't include what that was for in your report? The, so the that specifics? we can review it? Well, or? I think it, we generally would provide that to the, to the, um, to the, to to the, the clerk and the staff, and they look into it to confirm. So certainly, okay. if you'd like that, you can get it from them. Generally, we don't put that specific vendor names in the public document. Very good. Mm -hmm. Any other questions for Tom? All right, now we need to wait <laughs> on. Yeah. When you um, look at these policies for the proof, for our policies and that sort of thing, you go back and forth. It, so, so let's say that you were looking at the one that you said we needed to have reflect what we're actually doing. <laughs> Do you pick up any other policies, like say for the training for people or any of those kinds of things to look to see like is our hazmat being done or any of that yeah. and an audit like this who would who would do something well, like that probably have to have a, a um labor specialist come in and, and did some of those types of things we don't we haven't done those okay yeah we're more of a financial You're the financial type policy so your investment policy procurement policy things like that thank you okay we need to approve this report as a board. I hope that we approve the audit in its entirety um, as done by Mango and that's for about a second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. With their, with their um, suggestions of fine tunings, yep. okay. shall we say? Yeah, yep. that's good. Thanks. I think the big thing is the procurement policy. We got, right. that needs a big revision, and, and we we'll, we'll have like to have them review it before we agree to it. Because I think that piggybacking on other bids expires. It was just renewed, I think, until twenty six or something like that. Yeah, I'm not, not quite sure if it got expired or on when it does expire, but but yeah, it's in there and there's some guidance out there from OSC that kind of suggests what yeah. should be included in your policy. So we can get at it. There were some really good things in here that we're doing right too. I don't want anybody to think that it wasn't it was all bad. It was just a couple of small things that we did. And I know there's a lot of stress when you see what indeed so I'd like to thank everybody in the office. Okay, thank, thank you. you very much. Have a good night. Thanks. Yeah, thank thank you. you. Our next order of business is our budget. And just so that the public knows what we're talking about. Um, and I'll do water and sewer first because they're not, they don't relate to taxes at all. Our water budget for 24-25 went up $2,000 from the current year to $471,000. $471,436. The sewer fund went down $18,000 to $554,350. And the general fund, which is what the taxes fund in part, went up $175,000 to $1,502,000. We get almost $850,000 in state aid and other fees, sales tax, franchises, gross receipts tax, things like that, licenses. Um, the tax rate remains the same. The tax levy goes up $3,000 from $600,000 to $603,000. And the tax rate remains at $4.90 per thousand. We do have a resolution somebody to agree to me who can read. Yeah. 
the other I had was keeping it at the six hundred thousand dollar level. Otherwise, I fully support the budget. And I know it's no impact on taxes the way it is, but we the intent was to keep it just like last year, so to speak. And every year has been six hundred thousand dollars, roughly. You get a dollar here or a dollar eighty, mm -hmm. be exact. And this year it's showing the proposed. No, you have got it. It's the adopted, modified. We're going to modify it at six hundred thousand. That is right. It was proposed to go to 603. We put it back to the 600,000. It's right. So okay. I moved it. The following resolution was offered by Lori Burbridge, seconded by whoever, adopting the budget for the fiscal year commencing June 1st, 2024, and ending May 31st, 2025, making appropriation for the conduct of village. Uh, for the conduct of village of Soda Point government in establishing the rates of compensation of officer and employees for such theory presented. Whereas this board has met April 18, 2024 at 6 15 p.m. in the village hall, 8356 Soda Point, New York, the time and place specified in the notice of the public hearing on the preliminary budget and heard of all persons desiring to be heard thereon. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the preliminary budget is amended and revised, and as herein after set forth is adopted, hereby adopted, and that the several amounts stated in the column title adopted in Schedule A1, Schedule F1, and Schedule G1, B, and they hereby are appropriated for the objects and purposes specified in the salaries and wages of such budget. Shall be and are hereby fixed at the amount shown therein, effective June 1st, 2024. This gives us a flat tax. It'll be the same as it has been for the last three years. Give a second. All in favor? Aye. Thank you. The next deals with potentially new equipment for hosting these meetings in this room. Um, Adam is proposing that we eliminate this monitor and most of this equipment and move to a Bluetooth style, um, different manufacturing microphone that other municipalities are using quite successfully. A new camera that would be mounted, I think on the ceiling that would point at the person speaking automatically. Um, leaving that monitor, and I've suggested to him that we have a monitor over there so we can see a monitor from both sides of the table, which will raise this cost a little bit. Um, but to do everything minus the monitor was $1,316. Is this the same person that takes care of the one that's in the visitor, uh, visitor center? The camera system in there, yes. That never works. Yeah, it does. It, well, it shows in this office all day long. But it never works in the office. Is there a reason? It's just set up now. Oh, work. okay. Yeah. All right. That's good to hear. Because <laughs> a day of the eclipse, I was like, this thing is still where it was a year ago. <laughs> it operates the cameras, and the cameras are recorded there. But the images are displayed up here in the middle of the car. I mean, this is the repeated price for this kind of thing. But I wonder if we should there have been two. It's, it's, it's you can get another two. one. I've been hounding him for a few months to come up to offer us a better solution because we've had a lot of complaints about yeah. the quality. So if you want, we can get another one. This is just who we work with for all our IT stuff. So okay. that's where we went. Is it is it simple, did he say, for whoever's sharing the meeting to run? Yeah, it won't really be any different. You just have to look up there, up there versus here. And turning it on and off and making sure it's connected to the Zoom will not be any more cumbersome than it is. No. Might be less. Do you offer any kind of training or anything with this? Because you know what I know. 
there's going to be issues on the get-go. Yeah, he'll he'll train the staff, you know, but and and we'll make sure the whole all the staff is trained. Because we run a couple of mock meetings or something, you know, saying to mm-hmm. you because know, if you get away with all this and you put in all new stuff and this is not there anymore, you got problems. Um, you know, the phone's going to ring. Make a motion we upgrade. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, thank you. The next is the last of the social drainage projects. We obviously had to put a pipe under a driveway. Yeah. Dave on the, that's going to have to come out of the general fund. Yes. Yeah. Well, and it, it has settled as was kind of expected. So Red was able to get two quotes to get the driveway repaired to be put back in the condition it was in before the project began. It did get together. Well, <laughs> I moved that we um, go with all county construction. So we're going to have nine thousand seven hundred sixty dollars to repair eighty-four thirty-three Silver Road driveway, which we need a, in order to fix the pipe. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. By the way, the pipe works great. It does. I've been having a problem. And I have had more people stop me as I down their fans. <laughs> All right, and there's two wastewater impellers we need to get. The first one is for the South Shore lift station. There's only one quote for these because we have flight pumps and we have to use flight impellers in flight pumps. First one is for South Shore for the tune of $4,192. <coughs> We have money in the bucket, good. Yep. But there's a lot of it. Yep. Are you putting these together in one motion or you want two motions? Let's do two so it's clear. I move that we approve the South Shore, say the South Shore yeah. in our replacement work for $4,192. Please. Your second. Second. All in favor? Aye. The second one is for Margareta Road. This is two impellers for $4,248. Plus a, wear, a couple of wear rings, which go on the bottom of the pump next to the impeller. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The next thing is um, from Fleet for some discharge. Four by fours, which we're not going to address because this is not a fleet only item and you didn't get a second call. Okay. The last um, agenda item is to schedule a public hearing on the proposed chapter 175 for parking. I, I went over this and I'm still looking for. The no parking in Centel. And I know that we had it. Did we change that and I missed it? Or? I believe Gary recommended that it come out. So I don't think it's in here. I didn't find it. So I didn't find it because I was looking. We know I was looking. I, I it says um, Marina Driveway to the intersection of Route 14 is no parking in between the property located at 8164 Center. Okay, well, that, that's why I didn't find it because it was renamed. Um, I think those should come. You think those should what? Come out. I am still totally against uh, not having the parking there. This is a good year for us to find out how well the two work together and to find out what's 
what's going on as far as our parking? So I think we have a lot of people that need parking down there. And if they aren't working together, as we've heard, and we haven't seen any presentations for it, the takeaway public parking is not good. You want to see a presentation? Because at one meeting we said we didn't want to see it, but they're, they'll gladly come and present to us. Maxwell like. and uh, and group. Yeah. The place to start. It's a good place. I'll ask them to come to the next meeting. One, one, one of the things that was brought to my attention yesterday is somebody asked me a real simple question. He said, Why have you ever had a problem parking your vehicle? So it's funny. And I said to myself, I really have. It's been busy mm -hmm. sometimes. There's always somewhere to park. In reviewing these restrictions, we're going to create a parking problem with this many restrictions. I do understand the safety aspect along the number of streets with the uh, the Airbnbs, the visitors. We get 15 people on one street in front of town. They don't know how to park and they park in the park. There's very few new restrictions in here. Most of this is in our current code. Um, some of it are some of the changes were recommended by the parking consultant, mm -hmm. and some of them were recommended by Gary. And Gary will be back next meeting, so he can talk as well. And maybe that's the yeah, way to do it. That's what I'm going to do. All right. So right. we'll just we'll just defer this to the next meeting, and I'll invite Gary, Bruce, and John to all come okay. and chat. That's a good idea. Yeah. That's fine. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, it's time to pay the bills. Right. Um, you're going to have to take the bond check off unless somebody goes and signs it. If you want, you go with that. You don't have three votes for it. Let's see if that pays it. That's right. Um, it'll get signed. Okay. Sign it right now if you want. Or take it out separate pending signature. It's for 90,821 Do you guys want to review that and just yeah, just it's it up? Two months. I asked the question, which is why I didn't sign it. Because there's two months. So I right. paid one last month. So I just wanted to check that. That's right, and that's why my signature's on there because you had the note on there. And I didn't sign it because I I don't agree with it. Okay, so we'll hold up on um, what number we'll be I don't have the number, I just know the, the amount, $9,821.21. Okay. 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 Oh, well, the totals are going to be different. So just okay. that and finish that. Okay. So $75,165, subtracting out the $9,821 for bond. Um, and general of that would be $45,323. And the $9,821 was coming out of the A fund. So we would subtract that from the $45,000. Water would remain the same, 5,866, and wastewater would be 23,975. And make a motion, we pay him as adjusted, or it will be adjusted or reviewed. Or... I second that second. Put that motion. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 There are no budget transfer resolutions. Um, are there any other business items? I just you know, the only other thing I want to make sure we're aware of is about the engine, engine 42, about surplusing that. I've got a couple of people trying to get me priced with that, um, what, what the value of it is, you know, at a later date, mm -hmm. but just so because it hasn't been used, it sets in the building over there. Um, and it's just it's if it's a 92, it's time to, to rotate our stock in that sense. And plus, it'll open up a spot to put the boat in the wintertime. So that's just for information on the basis right now. Anyways. Great. Anything else? I have one item for executive session. It'll take about two minutes. Okay. And it's under the personnel. So you want to move us to executive session? I move that we go to executive session. Is there a second? It's awesome. Favor? Um, I Thank you very much, everybody.